Hey, welcome to this edition of More Residence Practice Problems with Mr. Myers. I'm going to do four examples from the problem set that you have for the winter break here. So let's get to it. We'll start off here with A, which has the following structure. All right, so here we have an amide, and we need to look and decide here if there is any residence that can take place. Um, there's actually two places for residence. We have two separate areas of conjugation. We have, excuse me, an area over here with the conjugated pi bonds, and we also have those lone pairs here on the amide. And so we can see something going on here. So we're going to draw this one first. And the result is this. All right, so that's one of them. Another one that we have, I'm gonna change color for, is if I were to take the structure again, and I could show resonance with those double bonds. All right, so at this point, you know, you might ask, well, why didn't I do the arrows in the other direction, bring the uh, negative charge down to the bottom? Uh, really, this group is symmetrical, so it doesn't quite matter which side you take it from. Uh, it's going to be the same either way. So we have two possible resonance forms. Um, of course, you know, you could go from here. We could go another step further and get kind of a mixture of the two that we've come up with. Negative there, positive on the nitrogen. There we go. So of all of these, I would venture to say that our original structure that we drew would be the most stable con uh, contributor because we have multiple pi bonds, we have three of them, and there's no charges. And then our next most stable would be uh, probably this one up here, because we have more pi bonds, we have three, and the oxygen being electronegative is carrying that negative charge. Down here, it's a carbon that has it. And then this one here is the least stable because we have uh, the fewest pi bonds with two, and we have multiple charges present. So that was letter A. Next, let's take a look at, let's look at F. And the molecule that we have is this. All right, so for this one, That out. Okay, so with this one, we do have a lone pair on the nitrogen, but notice uh, this lone pair is not allylic. It's too far away from any of the pi bonds. This pi bond up here is too far away from anything to be in conjugation. And so really about the only resonance form that we can draw is to open up this triple bond. We 
which would look like this, where we have the same alkene that we start with, the same amine, And so nitrogen ends up being minus, the carbon ends up being positive. That's about the only resonance form that we could indicate uh, in this particular molecule. All right, another one. Let's take a look this time at, uh, let's do K. So K, we have... this. Now this functional or functionality here we have an alkene and the ketone. Uh, we'll talk about this later in the semester but it is called an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. This is the alpha position, this is the beta alpha because we're one away from that carbonyl carbon. But looking at this one, I'm going to change colors again. And we have a couple things going on. We can do either the negative charge here over because it's allylic to that carbonyl. The result that we get is this. Okay, so that's one structure that we might encounter. Another one, if I redraw the structure we had, we might also encounter, oops, something like this, where we can bring up the electrons from that pi bond, kick open that carbonyl bond, and the result that we end up with here is this. This right here is a terrible resonance form because we have light charges really close to each other. So this would be repulsive in nature. It's still a possible resonance contributor, but it's not the most uh, likely one or likely candidate there. Okay. Uh, now I do want to show you here, if we look down at L, you'll notice that L has a similar structure to what we just saw above with the negative charge here. Uh, with this one, this one is different because the negative charge moves over and now it's in conjugation such that we can make a bond here, break this pi bond and move it here, and then we can open that up all the way to the oxygen. So the result here would be a bond here, here, and then I get a charge up here, okay? So this would be the resonance contributor that we would see for L. It's kind of similar to this one here, um, but the alkenes are in a different position. And with the one that was up in K, we can only go at it one contributor at a time, whereas in L, we can go through multiple bonds. All right, we'll do one more for you. How about, uh, ooh, that one is fun. Why don't we stick with P? All right, so with P, we have this. It's really terrible looking drawing, but it works. I'll switch over to black. 
All right, so in this one, looking at the conjugation, there's conjugation here. There's also conjugation here. The nitrogen has the positive charge. I want to give it some electrons, so I'm going to go like this. The result you get a positive charge up here, double bond here, and we get this. Okay, so this would be the resonance contributor that we see. Um, now we have some conjugation with these pi bonds here, so we could go. Let's see, we could do the following. We could bring these back here, and this could either go up to the positive, or it could go over here. The result is double bond to the NH2 to the nitrogen, still a positive charge up here, this, and then we have a negative charge over here. This one is not the most likely structure because now we have three charges. In fact, we have two positive charges near each other. So like charges are repulsive. So there's going to be some strain here and it's not going to be a likely candidate. Okay. If we go back to our original structure, there is one other form that you might have recognized for contributor, or perhaps we go, um, and we could go like this. And this would result in the following structure. So this one, just like this one over here, we have three charges, but this time they're staggered between positive, negative, positive. So this is a little bit more likely than this one over here. Um, but to be completely honest with you, we're probably going to stick with this pathway here as being the most likely pathway because we minimize the amount of charges uh, and keep, you know, I mean, this would be the most stable because we have three bonds. Um, but this would be the next stable, I think. Hopefully, this helped you guys out.